Okay, guys. I'm going to show you how to make a step zone here. Uh, I want to show you the parts we have first. First, you're going to need this jig. This is a, basically a mold or a frame uh, with a wooden frame with a canvas uh, little liner inside that we're going to pack the clay into. Uh, you're going to need one of these. The wetter they are, the more sticky they are, so try to try to find one as dry as possible. Um, also, when you're using this, note there's two sides. This is the outside and this is the inside. We're going to be packing clay on the inside. So you can see there's canvas up here uh, where it's stapled into the top of the frame. You want to see that facing up. You do not want to see this, okay? You think of it as like a little bag inside of the frame. So we're going to pack the clay inside of there. So I got my wire tool. Um, I've got my handles, I've got my frame, and I've got some clay here. So first, let's look at this clay. This clay is uh, pugged clay, and um, we're going to use this. This is free. Uh, it's on the wall behind you, uh, or the little mini wall between the wheels by the back door. Stacked up, you'll see inside are some logs of clay. So I'm going to get a couple out, and uh, I'm basically going to just start grabbing chunks off of this and rolling big fat coils, big fat ones. So this is, what is this? Uh, thicker than my thumb, fatter than my big toe, uh, almost as wide as the actual frame itself. So that's about how thick the coil needs to be. And I'm going to start by just pressing these coils into the corners of the frame. So remember, the bag, the canvas, is we're working on the inside here, and I'm going to start packing these coils in. So I'm just going to take one chunk, oops, one chunk at a time. I kind of squeeze, 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 roll, roll, roll. This doesn't have to be perfect, guys. Uh, it's pretty rough. We're going to just pack it in here, and as we pack the clay in, we want to really try to make sure that you're not creating any air pockets. Uh, between the clay and the canvas and as I get that first coil in then I'm going to start smushing and smearing smushing and smearing smushing and smearing that clay in there so I'm using all my fingers and my thumb and smush and smear smush and smear I want a nice smooth inside I want this inside to kind of look like a sort of like a square bowl so the surface is sloping down I want to get it as smooth as, not smooth as possible, but pretty smooth. You don't want any holes in it at this point because what we're going to do next is start taking bigger chunks of this clay, let's say like a baseball size chunk of clay and sort of ball it up like this and I'm going to take this ball of clay and I'm going to place it right in the middle. So it's really important that we don't trap air in here because trapped air in the clay will cause the step stone to explode when it's fired. So you could spend weeks working on this thing and then dry it and fire it and find it, it explodes into many, many pieces. That's bad. So I'm using the heel of my hand to kind of smush and smear again. Smush and smear, smush and smear. Get this smoothish don't need to pile it up out here at all. Um, and I do want to pile it about, uh, let's say, about a half an inch higher than the frame. So I want it to pile up out of the frame and then I'm going to cut the extra off. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So another baseball here. Again, make sure the baseball is round. No fingerprints or holes in it. And make sure the surface I'm attaching it to is round. And when you do this, there's no room for air to get trapped. You see, all the air is going to get squeezed out as I start packing it down. So I'm smacking it in the middle and spreading it out. So this is a great way to get out some frustrations if you're having a bit of a rough day. But then smooth it, smooth it, smooth it. And the next one. Ball it up and smash it down. 
And I want to get it all the way out to the corner here. Remember the step stone, the brick we're making is inside the frame. I think we're almost there. I'm going to add one more just for good measure. And you can see about how much it's sticking up out of the frame, okay? So watch what we do next. So this is where our special little handle jigs for the wire tool come in. Handy, get it? <laughs> Handy handles. So I'm gonna take the wire and put it in this little groove and pull it all the way down. I'm gonna do that on both sides. Put the wire in the groove. Okay, the wire is all the way down in the bottom of that groove. So the groove takes it to a certain level. So that when I put this on the table, that wire is exactly two inches off the surface of the table and I'm gonna cut it. But before I cut it, I'm gonna actually wrap it around once or twice to make it a little shorter and make it a little easier. Make sure it stays in that exact two inch position. Okay, so there I am. I'm in the groove. When it's shorter, it's easier to control. And this is a really critical move right here, guys. Make sure you're in the right place. And uh, I'm actually gonna pull this right through. So ready, set, pull. And I'm gonna put my knee up here because I don't have a partner. <coughs> but if you just get somebody to kind of hold the frame right there while you pull through, it's gonna make it much easier. So I just pulled through and I'm gonna peel this back. And what I have is this is exactly two inches off of the table. Actually, perhaps there's another tool you want to have handy. This is called a fettling knife. It looks like a letter opener, uh, but it's for cutting clay. So I'm going to cut back most of this scrap, but not all of it. Uh, that's that uh, kind of overflowed onto the top of the frame. So I went a little too far there. And so I have the step stone. This is the bottom of the step stone now. So, um, I'm going to flip this over. And to get it out, here's what we're gonna do. Don't push with your fingers on the surface, but take the heel of your hand right here. See this heel of my hand? It's gonna go in the corner and I'm gonna start lifting up and go all the way around and just keep doing that. Keep going around, gently, gently holding the clay down until you can pull the frame off. Okay, so I'm almost done here guys. I still have, this is, this is the top of my step stone and this is a little extra on the side. I'm going to just cut that pretty close. Doesn't have to be perfect right now, but I want to get it pretty close to the wall. Now this, this step stone is exactly six inches by six inches. That's exactly what I want. And I am not, I am not cutting anything off of the side right here. I'm just cutting down low. So let me show you. You can see right here, this is the section that I just cut. This is the section I did not cut. Do not cut any of this part of the piece away. That is the part that's the exact right size. And we're going to trim down the rest later. You can see I've still got a little extra here. That's fine. I can get rid of that later. To be done, I'm just going to put this right on a brick here. So to be done, I'm going to put the stepstone uh, face up on a board, and on my board, I'm going to I'm going to put my initials with a pencil and P1 for period one or whatever period you are. And then this is going to go outside on the uh, uh, bisqueware shelf for the moment, just to dry for at least 24 hours. Okay, and then check with me about when to take your step stone in. We want to get this leather hard before it's done, but this is what your step stone should look like at this stage. Now, lastly, uh, most important thing, well, not the most important thing, well, a very important thing is to uh, clean this up when you're done. So make sure you got all the clay out of this. Uh, we cannot lose these guys. These are super important. Do not lose these. Uh, I have to make these custom. Uh, to be the right size so they go back in the frame and so does the wire and then leave this at the wedging table Where other people will be able to use it with your scrap clay. You can see I've got scrap clay here I'm just going to take this stuff And ball it back up 
And then I'm going to take my scrap clay over to the sink and these buckets in the sink here. I'm just going to give it a dip and I'm going to put it back in the bag and just get it all the way down to the bottom, give the bag a twist and a wrap and I'm going to set it down back at the uh, stepstone making station just like this. So this clay will get used by somebody else.